everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Stray Blind. I'm your host, Asan Faye. Whoa! Well, hi, Glitch. Hi! Those circles of light are pleasing to watch, but I want to see the real sky one day. Um. Just out of curiosity. All right. I didn't mean to glitch you out. But that symbol was also painted on the other house I explored. <gasps> oh, I found my happy place. the episode by curling up here last time. Uh, all right, what did you see? Because you clearly saw some... <gasps> there it is. Right. Actually, it's surprisingly decently tuned piano. As much as I'm scratching up things in this game as a cat, I hope any cat I get in the future does not scratch up my house this much. Oh, that's cute. All right, what is this room? Feels like I should be able to jump up higher. Maybe not. Huh. What are... I feel like I should be able to pick those up. Alas. Oh no, get off, get off. Hmm? You know what? No. What? That doesn't look right. Feels like that was supposed to be something. Okay. Maybe I don't need it. Yeah, it considers this book, or that set of books, toppled. Mm. Okay, so... The keys, here. Can I grab them? 
because that would be great. <sighs> okay. There's something in there I may need to reload or have that spot reload. Because there's a couple of things that have glitched. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of things that have glitched. I... I feel bad about doing this. But... Yeah, that's where I thought. Right where I grabbed the notebook. this time. Those circles of light are pleasing to watch. I didn't actually meet you, did I? Oh my god. But I want to see the real sky one day. No, I did! So I definitely talked to you while your pants were standing on top of you. I uh, gotta remember. Grab this. Gimme. careful with these. And I should also... It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Just the librarian. Okay. Alright. Uh, before I go to the safe and find out what's in there... Ooh. How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to become as creative as a real human. Volume 42. Cute. really bad then that I had that glitch all right I know all right yes you say strange notebook with a symbol on it. Okay. This one seemed to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be able, or we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. I don't know what this means, but it'll probably be useful later. We should go see that Momo person who Guardian told us about. Okay. All right, I just, I wanted to come in here and... My luck. Um, I wouldn't have been able to talk to Momo.
Okay. Actually, mm. bother y'all in a minute. Building with the orange sign. It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey you, what do you want? I'm supposed to show you this? What's this? A picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Sort of? Yes? Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It'll only bring you loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. But I tried to contact them, but that bleep transceiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go there. Momo's notebook. One of four. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. <laughs> Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The Outsider's Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerks. It's signed Clementine, Zabaltazar, and Doc and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. Outsiders. Ooh. So that's why that symbol's there. The city has a, a cylindrical shape of about 450 meters in diameter. There is a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling. If I believe my books, a big blue sky is hidden behind. I wish it had a bell. I'm marking up your carpet. now in a bad spot. <gasps> Here we go. Another memory. Oh, back home too. I remember this video game. It was made just after I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? Okay, so I still got four memories I need to find. Um, Earth. Earth is the third planet of the sun, fifth largest in the solar system by mass and diameter. To date, it is the only celestial object known to foster life. According to radiometric dating, the Earth is 4.5 billion years old. It has 4.54, sorry. Uh, it has a singular a natural satellite, the moon, which forms soon after. <laughs> the gravitational interaction with the moon creates the tide, stabilizes the Earth's axis of rotation, and gradually reduces its rotation speed. Okay. <laughs> This symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. Yes, I noticed that. 
We already visited this place, but we could check if there are other signs like that one. Okay. Like over there. All right, I will keep that in mind. Maybe I really interrupt him. Oh, wait, no. Alright, I went too early, or too late. So there's an easy way up here, but I still, I've got a little bit of exploring to do, and I don't want to push what is apparently a main quest. That's my traitor. Okay, no. Alright. Um. That's the bar. No, I don't need help. Okay, so clothing. Stuff is that way. Um, but actually, well, I'm thinking about it. Hi. I will meet you in... Aha! Yes, please. I'm cleaning the porch of my shop. AGAIN! <laughs> Stop playing over my shop, you clumsy rascal! <gasps> Footprints! Oh, cute. That's adorable. Okay. Um. Alright, whilst I am thinking about it. Um. I will at least grab this. Hello again, what do you want now? This is a set of electric cable, the best of the market. I'll exchange this for a super spirit detergent. Okay. Like that. There you go. Yay. All right. I need... Actually, you know, that's what I didn't check. See if there were, like, layers. Because, you know, it, it would have been... Not 
unheard of. Can I go over here? Rip humans. <gasps> okay, yay! I did not come over here. All right. Where am I? Ooh. Rip humans heart. Humans were the first residents around here. Seems they're all dead now. What do you think it feels like being dead? I know it's silly coming from me, but are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like for an AI. I'm sorry, I didn't want to break the mood. Let's move on. Yeah! Bit of a mood killer. Alright. All right, um, hi, can I meet you? No, of course not. Can't go that way. <laughs> Announcement, I'm looking for any sheet music to play the guitar to add some ambiance. If you find any, bring them back to me. I live near the elevator, Morosk. All right, this way. Looking for someone capable of monitoring the southern entrance to the safe zone. The remuneration is two points up. So you bought oil per day. Please contact the guardian. Hi. So if today is yesterday's tomorrow, tomorrow will be yesterday today, right? Time is weird. We don't age like our soft one ancestors. Are you geeky enough? Certainly philosophical and nihilistic enough. Um, I have not been over here. Oh, no, hang on. This is where I first came in. It's okay. You can leave. The Guardian said it was not the Zerks. Alright. Yep, that's where I came in from. Thankfully I've got better jump height than the Zerks. Or the Zerks can't jump as high as I do. Um. Grandma clothing! Hi! Hello, little one. Do you have any electric cable for me? I'd love to make a poncho for you, but I need that cable. Ah! Uh, I did just get some. You know what? Please? Thank you, my dear. I'll get to work right away. Do I get to wear? No, I, I don't want to, to be fair. Here you go, little one. It'll suit you well. I've got a very full inventory. Um. Alrighty. Um. Hi! Grandma made me these clothes. Pretty stylish, no? She made me clothes, too. I recognize Grandma's style. She's very talented, you know. You want something? Um. Okay. Translate. Elliot programming. Okay, sweet. Knock on the door and wait for us to open. I'll, I'll 
wait for you to close that. Can I meet you? You here for Elliot? He's just over there. Um. Okay. Translate. We were programmed to be slaves, but since uh, that many days have passed, we have a soul. Hope one day the outsiders will find the exit to this hell. Momo. Hmm. Yep, mine now. Okay. All right. What? Oh, hi. Remember. This tree is a scientific marvel. It's remarkable that human ingenuity found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. That's what humans would have wanted. Alright, so I've apparently missed two early on. Oh, cute. No. But now I've got a, a, an alternate route in. Yes, can I help you? Uh, you're nerdy enough. You want me to read the binary code just a second? I need to calibrate right, my lenses. Here, it means duffer bark. Oh, so that's the 1283? Maybe? Strange, who gives a rendezvous via binary? Or via binary code? Okay. Um. Yes, can I help you? Um, I guess not. Thank you. Well, I suppose you technically... Alright, well, I marked things up. Uh, it was... Nope, up. Over here, right? Okay. All right. Yeah, that's a one, two, eighty three. Zero love equals or zero. Um, I'm so lost. Okay, no, that's where it came from. Um, okay, down, nope, not that way. Hi, did I, I didn't meet you. Oh well, at least Cosma is making use of all that detergent. Okay. Uh, it was opposite that. One, two, eight, three. Oh, 
Oh, and I have three energy drink cans. Mm. Access to the sewers is condemned because of the proliferation of Zerg. Stay safe and stay in the safe zone. Hello. Um. Okay. I will come back to you in just a moment. Um. What does that say? The marketplace. Hello again. What do you want now? Um, that's an ancient relic and testament to the talent of our ancestors. It'll cost you three energy drink cans. I can't do less. All right. One, or uh, one. Ooh. Cool. Memory. It's an early model of a companion back w then they didn't have any personality, they were just glorified autonomous cleaners. I think it's nice that they eventually mimicked humans. It's like they missed them, and in a way, they kind of kept them from going extinct. They're good robots. They are! Oh cool, yay! Alright, so I've got one memory left. And... Sheet music. to find. Alright. Surely... This is... a little achievement. Oh. No? No. Alright. Well. We tried. Ah. <sighs> All right, it is time for me to wrap up this episode. We'll do that by sitting over here with Morsk. Or Morsk. I want to thank you all so much for tuning into this episode. And in the meantime, in between time, take care, have fun, and happy trails.